When I discovered St. Mary's two years ago, I was not even Catholic. You know, I was away for parks from Park City for probably, you know, 18, 19 years, and also had been away from my Catholic faith for you know, probably three, four years of that. Encountering the Lord through Mass, you know, on the one end seems very straightforward. It was something that I was completely unfamiliar with. Uh, but to realize that once you kind of orient your life around glorifying God, you don't want to be anywhere else but Mass. And that's kind of the, the working ethos at St. Mary's. I believe the church should be expansive, that it should be inclusive, that it should be a place where people from all kinds of different backgrounds and desires and hopes can gather in one worship of Christ. That takes many forms. There are many different opportunities. St. Mary's was the first opportunity that I had to really engage with the Latin Mass. And in that, I found a new avenue to express my spirituality and to grow in my union with God in a new way that I had never been able to experience before. It was, it was the Mass that brought me to Catholicism. At St. Mary's, there's always people asking for more, and it's being given. With there being a yearning that's being taken care of here, where people are coming here because there's something different about St. Mary's. This is a place where you know, people have a genuine heart for our Lord. People really do care. People care about both the sacraments and about one another. But there's one particular part of the, the Mass called the Fraction of the Commingling, which well, almost without fail will bring a tear to my eye. The, the priest will take the host, fracture it over the, the chalice, he will then break off another piece and uh, take the, the little particle uh, of host and over the chalice we'll say Pax Domini Sit Sempa Vobiscum. That exchange, the peace of the Lord be with you and with your spirit, is the single purest expression of love that I know. In a very definite sense, I, I can say I am the man that I am because of the time uh, here at St. Mary's.